Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to introduce you guys to our livestock guardian dog, Lola. I'm gonna be doing a whole series on livestock guardian dogs. So this is just an overview of what um, a livestock guardian dog is and kind of what their purpose is on the farm. But if you want more tips and tricks on like getting a livestock guardian dog and making it, making sure that it works the first time, um, stick around for that series. I'll leave it in the uh, link in the description box below for that playlist but I have a lot of stuff coming up um, that will hopefully save you guys some headaches <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Kelsey. Um, my husband and I just got our sheep in, this last July. So it is now January. Um, but so we've had them only for a few months, you know, but you learn a lot within that time. So um, introduce you to Lola, if you can see her back here. Um, she is our livestock guardian dog. She is a Great Pyrenees Anatolian Shepherd mix. And um, so livestock guardian dogs, their purpose is to be out with the sheep and live with the sheep and essentially protect the sheep. Um, so Miss Lola here, she thinks that she is a sheep. She uh, has even tried to eat alfalfa hay and take it off away from our sheep. And um, she found out pretty quick that that wasn't a very good snack. So, um, but yeah, so livestock guardian dogs, um, their main purpose is to protect livestock and that's what Lola does on our farm so I get a lot of questions about people asking if we take her inside or if she um, you know comes down to the farm at all and the answer is no she lives with the sheep full-time so they are out here on pasture she is out on pasture she doesn't have um, any sort of extra shelter she loves to cuddle up with the sheep like I said, she thinks she is a sheep. So um, she lives out here with the sheep. She has shelter with the um, uh, sheep shed that we have, but otherwise, um, yeah, her and the sheep make, make good friends. So Lola does have her own um, space where she can go to eat. Um, she has her own dog feeder that has a small fence around it. So the sheep can't get in there and she's not fighting them off um, to eat the food. <laughs> It's so funny. I'll have to show you guys what's happening right now. So her purpose is to protect the sheep and they follow her. And even though they know who I am and um, they know that I bring treats all the time, they are, she's for some reason hesitant. Um, I think just with the camera and stuff that I have going on. So she's keeping everybody away and um, she's just walking. They're just walking around pacing. But um yeah, she, they, they're following her and they follow her all the time. Uh, she, whenever we come up, um, to either feed them or if we run by on the four wheeler or something, she's always the first to alert the sheep and make sure she, uh, she makes sure to bark and they all kind of gather together, ears perked, huddle around her so then they can see what's going on and um, what they need to be looking out for. They need to run after her, like um, follow her, uh, so she can take them to protection. So I didn't mention, um, obviously like we don't try to hurt our sheep when we come up here. So we aren't necessarily the predator. She still sees us as a predator and the sheep do as well, just because they aren't trained to like us petting them and stuff. But our biggest threat that we have out here is coyotes. And so Lola does a good job at night. Um, even though we put the sheep in the sheep shed, she will bark um, almost all night if she hears coyotes. And that even just that bark uh, deters them from coming into the paddock that we have them in. So she's not actually like attacking coyotes to get them away from the sheep. That could eventually happen when um, we start having lambs on the ground. The coyotes will probably be a little bit more bold to try to come into the paddock and um, try to steal a little lamb that is like um, slower than the rest of the flock. Uh, 
but Lola's bark and her attentiveness um, will help protect the sheep from uh, coyotes. So um, there's not a whole lot of other predators that we have out here. Um, I've heard of um, uh, like eagles and stuff swooping down and picking up um, baby lambs, but um, like I said, we just got our sheep in July, so May will be the first time that we lay them out. I hope that that isn't the case, that we don't have that problem. Maybe our sheep shed will help with that. We are going to be lambing out on pasture, so um, we'll see if we end up uh, having that problem, but I, I hope not. That would be the worst thing. Um, other than that, I just wanted to share with you guys that um, a lot of people are confused with livestock guardian dogs. Like I said, that they don't understand why they're out with the sheep all the time. Um, she's here for predator protection and uh, we treat her good, don't you worry. <laughs> she gets nice treats and um, she just got a bone the other day from William. We got at the store. We give her canned dog food every once in a while for a treat. I've heard of people, we don't hunt on our property, but if we did, or if I found somebody, they give them all of the deer scraps that they have. And um, so we'll see if we, we have organ meat actually from our pigs. And so we'll be giving those to her over the winter so she can have a nice tasty treat um, for all of her hard work. But uh, I just, yeah, wanted to share with you guys that um, Lola is doing a job for us and we truly appreciate that, but she also loves her job. She loves her sheep. Um, you'll see her kissing on them all the time. And uh, uh, like I said earlier, she thinks that she's a sheep and she wouldn't have it any other way. Um, to be honest, I've heard of people taking the livestock guardian dogs um, for different reasons, like if they're hurt or something. And oh my goodness, I've heard you better have like a solid, cage to put them in or like a structure because they will climb out of windows climb over things like she wants to be with her sheep because that is her family and so taking her away from uh, her family would not be a good thing <laughs> I don't even want to want to go there one last thing that I wanted to say though um, so livestock guardian dogs uh, are not um, pets so she even if we brought her down like I said to the yard she would want to be back with her sheep that's another reason that you won't see us petting Lola um, because she just isn't like a normal dog that is down in the yard will she attack us no she wouldn't attack us because she knows that we're not here to hurt the sheep but um, she um, won't let us pet her and that's one of our problems with um, Lola um, we have very we've gotten really really lucky with her being our first livestock guardian dog and like I said I'll make another whole video on that um, like what we did to ensure that we got a good livestock guardian dog the first time um, but our one thing about her is that she is so hesitant to people or just doesn't um, want people to touch her and um, but she's still a puppy so that could change but um, she just yeah won't let us touch her so if anything were to happen to her um, like her break her leg or anything like that it's not we're not in the best situation because um, we wouldn't be able to catch her we wouldn't be able to um, like grab her to help her if she needed help she would be very hesitant um, to come near us. So that's one thing that we need to work on with her. But otherwise, we have been so blessed with an awesome livestock guardian dog, Lola. Um, like I said, we just appreciate her working for us and protecting our sheep. But um, with that, I'll go ahead and end this video here. Um, like I said, I'm going to be making a playlist on livestock guard our livestock guardian dogs and um, just different things that we do with Lola, like, I don't know, show you guys her feeder and um, uh, different trip tips and tricks on getting a good livestock guardian dog the first time. So if you haven't already, make sure you see that playlist in the description box below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to our channel because it really helps support it. We will see you guys in the next video. Bye.